my channel again. I'm Jessica and my channel's Dig, Dish, and Decorate and it's where we do things that are I'm passionate about the inside and the outside um, and share my experiences with you and hope to learn and grow new knowledge um, as we grow this wonderful little network together. Uh, today I'm going to make some Belgian waffles. I have two young children who love waffles and sometimes I just can't make it to the store to get the box which is quick and easy and so I have to kind of scrounge up some ingredients and kind of you know improvise so I had gotten this wonderful recipe from my sister-in-law the waffles are wonderful and today I want to share with you the wonderful recipe I'll link the ingredients below so you guys can try it um, if you have a waffle maker uh, so we'll go through the ingredients. I have flour, some sugar, salt, bacon powder, vanilla, some oil, eggs, milk, and whatever you want to top your waffles with if you want to put M&Ms or chocolate chips. We're going to do M&Ms today because my daughter wants M&Ms, so we'll do that. So let's get started with the dry ingredients. So we're going to do use two cups of just all-purpose flour. Then we're going to add in a quarter cup of sugar. And then it calls for a half a teaspoon of salt. Put that in. And then the recipe calls for four teaspoons of baking powder. I know it sounds like a lot because the first time I made it, I was like, wow, that's a lot. But trust me. It's, it's doable and it works out great. So we'll just add one, two, three, and four. And another thing to note too is you can double the recipe. It will work out great by doubling the recipe if you need, if you have a larger family. Um, just instead of the two cups, you're adding the four cups. So it all turns out great. So let's get the dry ingredients mixed up. So we're going to put in a half a cup of oil and then we're going to place in two cups of milk. I just use the 2% or you can use skim milk, whole milk, whatever, whatever you desire. And then we're going to place in two eggs and then the last is a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to mix this up. Okay, so the waffle maker is preheated, so I'm just going to spray. Give it a generous amount, and then we'll place in some batter. Make sure you're not putting, you don't put a whole lot because it will run over because of the bacon powder. And then I'm gonna add in some M&Ms. There, and then we'll close it and give it a little bit. All right, the timer went off and here it is. Doesn't it look so good? So you're just gonna, comes off so nicely too. And you just set that right on there and there is your waffle. So make sure that if you like this, share this with your friends and family. And if this is information and content that is right up your alley, please like, hit the like and be sure to hit the bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload any new videos. Have a great day. Bye.